In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use relationships to relate information from one table to another. So we've imported our blog example, and we showed how to do that in other tutorials. And we're sitting here on the Tables tab. You can see that the selected database is blog. Because we imported the blog data model, we have a table called blogger, that's this table, and we have a table called blog posts, that's this table. And when we imported that data model, a relationship was created between the blogger table and the blog post table. Zoom in on that, you can see that the relationship name is blogger posts, table one is blogger, the cardinality of the relationship is one to many, and table two is blog posts. What we're going to do is show you how to create a new relationship to a new table. So let's create a new table called contact info, supposing that we've decided that email, which is the only form of contact information in the blogger table, isn't enough information and we want some other information like an address and a phone number. So we will just hit create table and we'll put in a table name called contact and we'll hit new table and we get a table here called contact and we'll add a column called add a column called uh, phone and we will make that text okay that's all we'll add for now and now we'll go to the relationships tab we'll create a relationship called contact info contact info it will relate table one will be blogger related as one to one and table two will be contact you see that that table shows up in the drop down now we hit relate tables and we can see over here that a one to one cardinality relationship has been created now between contact info and blogger excuse me between blogger and contact and the name is contact info